Hi, you're here with just Maria D. Welcome back to Vlogtober. It is Thursday, the, I'm looking at the colour, 4th, 4th. <laughs> I want to touch on a topic today that is something that I have both had happen to me and something that I have done to other mothers. And it is only now that I'm further along in the journey that I understand why mums do this to each other. I can remember having babies and toddlers and sharing the struggle of my days with other mums, usually with kids older than myself. And every now and then I came across somebody who would say, just wait until the teenagers. You don't know you're alive at the moment. You think it's hard now? Just wait till they grow up. At the time, the lack of empathy in those comments stung. I mean, I was having bad days, sleepless nights, breastfeeding problems, a husband that worked all the time and was I was managing small children by myself, uh, home, home educating as the kids got older and still juggling babies and toddlers. And so my life was full and all I wanted was a little bit of empathy from another parent. And all I got was this brick wall of just wait until they're older. You do not even know you're alive now. And rightly so, those comments hurt me. They stung and they hurt and left me feeling even more alone in motherhood than I was already feeling. Dial forward 20 years and I have found myself saying that very same thing to other mothers. Just wait until they're older. When I've heard those words come out of my mouth, I haven't felt proud of myself because my natural inclination is to want to empathize with other people. So when I have stopped to examine why I would say such a thing, I realize that those words, those declarations, they are born from a real place of struggle. My observations of motherhood is that there are a lot of resources and a lot of groups and a lot of focus on mothers of small children and rightly so because it is an incredible change in life the further you go along in the journey the less resources there are unfortunately that's really why friends are so important so that when you are having those bad days you have somebody to empathize with because there isn't a lot of help for mothers of teenagers or young adult children it can be a really lonely time of life trying to figure out the way forward when things aren't going the way that you want them to or the way you expected them to or the way you think is right. And as I've stopped to analyze why I have made that flippant, unempathetic comment to somebody who's sharing with me their struggle, it's out of a place of frustration that there just does not seem to be the resources for supporting parents, not just mums, but parents of that age group child. So I guess I'm sharing, I'm getting a bit teary now, sharing this with you today to shed light on that when another mother says something like that to you, it is most likely, it is more likely that they are not uncaring and unempathetic and even unsympathetic to what you're going through but behind those flippant words is probably a lot of pain a lot of loneliness a lot of maybe not feeling supported by society at large and I would challenge you that if you were to take the time to ask that mother if they were okay that you might find that there are mutual things that you can both empathize with each other on in the greater struggles of parenthood and the journey that goes on for a very long time. We concentrate so much effort on the early years and, and so we should. It is such an important time cognitively and developmentally and with nurture and attachment. So I don't wanna take anything away from that, but parenting goes on for a very long time. It is most likely in my own experience that if somebody says something like that to you that there is pain behind those words anyway I just thought I would share that story today because I've been reflecting a lot about why I have said that myself to other mothers 
and how we can all support each other better in this great journey they call motherhood. I've been Marie D. You've been awesome and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.